welcome back, or if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Leia. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I was tied to do this video by Sherry Ward. She is the creator of it, and it is the long lippy tie. Okay, so question number one. <laughs> Let me get my questions. What is your favorite no-nonsense always go-to lippy? Um, and for that one, I put NARS. This is the Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Bound. I'm probably going to be covered in stuff if I end up doing this, and I already have stuff on my hand from before, but um, it's just, it's my lip, but better. It's a beautiful formula. It feels nice on the lips. It's not drying, but it's fairly long-lasting. It's not going to last through a greasy meal or anything like that, but it definitely stays put through drinking your coffee and all that kind of stuff. So the NARS Velvet Lip Glide, this is one I splurged on and wasn't sure I was going to get, but I am so glad I did. I didn't get any other shades. I want to use this up before I do, but this is my go-to, never fails me lip product. Number two, what lippy color family do you prefer? Nudes, pinks, reds, or vamps? And for me, it would definitely be the nudie pinks, the mauves, the kind of rose colors that go more to the nudie side of things, not too deep. Uh, those would be my favorites. Number three, favorite MAC Lippy, if you have one. And I do not. I have a couple of glosses from them, which they're okay, but they're not favorites. I mean, I guess they would be my favorites out of any MAC Lippies that I've tried because they're the only ones. Um, but I've never tried a lipstick or a liquid lipstick or anything like that. Um, it's just something that has never come into my collection. Number four, what is your favorite fall lippy? And for that one, I chose, let me find it here, <laughs> fall lippies. I chose this one. It's a dual ended one from Wander Beauty, but this is the shade um, front row. And this is the kind of shade that I like for fall. Um, it kind of looks like bound a little bit, but it's a little bit deeper. It goes a little bit more of that rusty kind of color in there, a little bit more of the red, not so much pink. It's not really pulling onto camera that way, but that is definitely what I prefer prefer more for fall. I'm sure he doesn't have a winter color on here, but I do prefer for winter um, something like this. I just got this one from my friend Julia. Um, this is by Urban Decay. Urban Decay and it's the shade 66 and it's the Comfort Matte, um, but it's like a cool tone um, pink and it's right This is here. my fall so pick, so the warmer, slightly deeper than nude kind of color, and then for winter, the more cooler, slightly deeper than nude color. Um, then she also has for what is your favorite spring lippy, and this one actually is a favorite for me for spring, and it is the Santa Ana by Ofra, and it's a deeper color, um, but I just find for me it I don't know. I like this on my lips in the spring. I find I go for more bolder looks in the spring just because after the winter, I've usually done more heavier, um, kind of darker eye looks. And I usually go lighter on the eyes and darker on my lips for some reason in the spring. I know that's odd compared to some people, but that's what I do. And then for summer, which would be question number six, um, I go for more... I have a few picks for summer. Um, I like Easy, so I have this one by Revlon. This is one of their Butter Balms. It's just kind of sheer. Um, it's nice and easy. I also like glosses, but I'll go for more of the colorful ones. I have like a NYX one here. I have a couple Buxom ones here. They're super bright. Um, but again, they don't look that impactful on the lips. And then I also go for more of the brighter, um, more, I don't normally go for corals and peaches and that sort of thing but in the summertime I feel with my tan I can pull it off a little bit better so I tend to go for more of those types of shades as well. Number seven. What is your favorite lip balm, lip mask, or lip treatment? I don't really have a favorite lip balm. Um, I have to be careful because I find some of them dry my lips out and I don't like that um, so I just kind of use whatever works but I do really like the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I liked putting this on at night and I just feel it's very nourishing to my lips. I like how it feels. Um, it's not super sticky and it's not super thick, but you can tell it's there and it just feels really comfortable and nice at night. Number eight, what is your favorite lip scrub? Um, I don't have it here, but I really like the e.l.f. lip scrubs because they come in the tube. I don't like sticking my finger in a pot, especially if I have fake nails on or anything like that. It all gets stuck underneath. I don't like that. Um, currently, I don't have any. The last one I had went bad, so I just use my toothbrush. It works fine.
Number nine, what is your favorite brand and shade of lip gloss? My favorite brand is Buxom. I love the minty feeling of it on my lips. I like, it's slightly sticky, but not goopy sticky. And my favorite shade would be Dolly, but I also do really like um, sugar. This has a little bit of sparkle in it, whereas this does not. This is something I apply every morning to my lips um, after I've done my moisturizers and everything. I usually don't put my makeup on right away, but this is something um, that goes on my lips first thing in the morning. I just really like the feeling of it. I don't really care about the shade of it at that point, um, but yeah. This is my favorite. Number 10, do you like lip toppers? Um, no, not really. Usually I'll just use a gloss if I feel like I need it. Um, I have a couple. I don't mind them, but I don't gravitate towards them. They're not something I use all the time, maybe for a special occasion, but even then, usually I forget. <laughs> Number 11, what is your favorite lippy format? Mattes, creams, satins, or liquid lips? My favorite format would be a bullet lipstick, but a matte formula, especially if it's a comfortable matte. Um, I like a creamy or a satin as well. Those are my next favorites, I guess you could say. So yeah. Number 12, what is your favorite high-end lippy brand? Um, my favorite high-end lippy brand would be wander beauty i really like these lipsticks here that i have i have three different shades and i have barely there front row and socialite and i just like how these wear i like how they feel on the lips they're more i guess of a satin formula they're not super creamy but they're not matte either and yeah i've just i've always really enjoyed these lipsticks Number 13, what is your favorite drugstore affordable lippy brand? Um, but I was turned on to these Milani lipsticks. This is the Bold Matte, and I love this formula. I mean, I love the color as well, but the formula is just really nice. It's a matte lipstick, but it's comfortable, and it's in a bullet form, so it 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 checks off all those points for me um, where lipsticks are okay. concerned. Even though this is the only shade I have, I'd have to say this is my favorite line of drugstore lipsticks in, from this brand. Number 14, lip liner, yay or nay, and your favorite liner. Um, I wear it. <laughs> I would say nay because I don't enjoy wearing it. I don't enjoy applying it, but yay because as I'm getting older, I'm finding my lips, you know, stuff starts to feather a little bit more. It's not as firm and everything in that area, so I require it a little bit more often. I would say more often than not, though, I'm usually just using a lip brush with my lipstick and just kind of lining my lips with that just to give that barrier. But if I do need an actual lip liner, the Essence ones in the pencil form, I don't even know if they make them anymore because I haven't bought any in a while, but I still have some. Those are really nice. As well as the Huda Beauty um, lip liners, I have a couple of those ones, and those are really nice for a high-end one. Number 15, a lippy trend you loved and a lippy trend you hated. Um, I just actually, it just came to me. I couldn't think of one that I loved, but back in the 90s <laughs> when you had the darker lip with the lighter lipstick inside, like the dark, darker liner with the lighter lipstick, yeah, I did that and I loved it. I felt like I rocked it. I was a teenager, so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I could get away with stuff like that then. I mean, it's not the style now, but I would have to say I really enjoyed that style. Like, I actually had, like, lip crayons that had the darker end and the lighter end, like one for the liner and one for the um, the lipstick. So, yeah, thank you, Revlon, for coming up with that because, yeah, I wore those a lot. Like, I nowadays, I don't go through lipsticks and lippies at all. They go bad before I have a chance to use them because or go through them all because I have so many. Um, but back then, yeah, I used quite a few of those type of ones. Yeah. <laughs> and a trend that I hate, I hate the metallic trend. I didn't, I never liked the frosted lipsticks either, especially back in the day. They always were really gritty and seeing the metallic lips that came in a couple of years ago, it just reminded me of that. And I'm like, nope, no way, not trying it. It looks silly. Good on all those young people, those teenagers nowadays and those young people that want to do it. Yes, I'm, I'm an old person. <laughs> But get on those people that can pull it off and wear it. Um, it's definitely not for me. When I when, even just seeing it, it would make me feel like I had grit on my lips. It's like one of those things that takes you back. And it was not a fond memory. And a bonus question: What is your ride or die? Can't live without. Life would have no meaning. Lippy. <laughs> I'm looking in here. I'm like, did I bring anything down that would be that? And I would have to say no. I don't have one. I'm not that. Um, obsessed with Libby products, I guess. You know, I enjoy them. I, I go for the color and the comfort of it. I'm glad um, that we are seeing more things and better formulas coming out in bullet lipsticks because I certainly prefer these over liquid lipsticks, although now I'm getting better at liquid lipsticks um, 
but yeah so I don't really have a ride or die I just I just like something that's comfortable and I hate okay this is I despise when a lipstick has such a strong scent that you can taste it and it's like a gross scent like don't put perfume and flowery scents in my lipstick because I can taste it and it tastes like soap I don't like that <laughs> so I, I although I don't have a ride or die I do have like a die die don't do that I don't want it if it's like that and those are all the questions for the long lippy tag. As always, I will leave all the questions in the description box below, as well as Sherry Ward's channel and a link to her video. So be sure to go and check her out. Okay, so because this is a tag, I'm gonna tag a few people. I'm going to tag Nicole Chantel. I'm going to tag Mel C's Makeup and Style. And I have no idea if she'll see this or not, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna tag Katie Marie as well because I think she would have some fantastic answers to these questions as well. Let me know in the comments below if you have similar answers to me for any of these questions or are you just shaking your head and completely appalled and just thinking no Leia no don't go there no thank you so much for watching everyone I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fantastic day bye bye